Coyote's computer is ancient. Probably fished it out of a junkyard. It doesn't even have a data jack. And the cracked display is covered with fingerprints. Tapping the keyboard, uh, keyboard causes the dust cake fans to spin up. Only to dis dis display on screen password. Without the password, the only other button on screen is a password recovery option. Let's see. First childhood pet. I'm guessing it's the snake shadow? Favorite musical act. I don't know. Let's say the shadows. Name of your hometown. Chicago. Incorrect. Huh. Uh, there's a CD or something lying around. Action movies. What's this? Let's check the safe. Broken mirrors. Here they're hiding a small spell. Inpo input the code. Responses. Door comes open. Now what? Item. Inchetti frag grenade. Why would there a, f a grenade be in there? Password recovery. Let's see. Our childhood pet was Shadow. The band was Concrete Dreams. And then her, she comes from Chicago. No. I know the first one. Now let's try the second one. No. I'm sorry, I'm going to do it this way because I have no idea how to do it otherwise. No. I know this, this one is alright. And then she comes from Chicago. No. Come on. Pet was Shadow. Starfire. The last, obviously the last. Yes! Logging you in. The computer has a basic list of applications. Calendar. Meet with Delilah about gig. Today meet Paco for date at Pike Place Market due in 30 minutes. Where well, this co uh, contact list has exactly one entry. Someone named Paco. There is no com link number or other contact information for him available. Time's not very useful. Okay, history. A quick scan of her recent searches shows that Coyote has been reading a great deal about hellhounds. It also suggests more than casual interest in vintage action figures. <laughs> Though she's crazy about f uh, action figures and interested in hellhounds for some odd reason. Uh, there's nothing here. Let's go back down. Yeah, I'm trying to go back down. Thank you, game. Okay. How much? Hi. Uh, do you know Paco? He's a ganger, a member of the Cutters. He's a good kid in a nasty line of work. I warn Coyote against getting too attached to that type. They don't live long. Okay, so um, Paco is her boyfriend, stuff happened. Have you heard of Maury's Meat Emporium? No, I am a vegetarian. So some guy is selling zebra meat. Okay. Jin Park sold Coyote a gun? I'd be more surprised if she hadn't. Bouncers can deal with most of the troublemakers, but around here you need a gun just to take trash out to the dumpster. Coyote has a date with Paco at Pike Please Place Market in the next half hour. If you would go down there, then it it might bring me peace of mind. I'll call a cab for you. It should be able to get you there in time. Gambate Kudasai. Good luck. Okay, let's talk to Nug. Hi Nug. Covered in glowing magical talisman and fetishes, the troll does not seem fully of this world. He mumbles to himself constantly, apparently particip participating in several conversations at once. But with entity entities you can neither see nor hear. Oh, I told you, not like that at all. Bring me proof, and you shall have it. Or I am honored, your majesty. 
Uh, that was why I said to use mustard instead of catsup. Uh, oh, forgive me, Jane. I was a fool. Uh. He looks you in the eye. His other conversations on old. You may peruse my magical wares and see their glory. Let's see your wares then. Is it stuff I can use? I don't have any money anymore. I don't have spellcasting. Okay, so I can't use anything of him. Johnny Clean, hi! The man is dressed like a janitor, but is wearing unusually clean overalls. He's tall, real thin, and has a cunning look in his eye that says he's more than just a maintenance man. Howdy, name's Johnny Clean, you knew? Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna look at the place. Well, enjoy yourself. This looks like your type of place. I'm just sweeping up a bit. Yeah, he has something to hide. Maybe um, it'll be more important in the future. Let's go and talk to Jin. Ask her about the gun and stuff. Need some hardware? Did you sell Browning Max Power to Coyote, the bartender? Hey guy, I'm discreet. I don't talk about what my clients... About my clients or what I buy. Bad for biz. However, I'm sure she would recommend me. If she was a customer, which I must, which I'm not saying she is. Uh, of course, I expect no less. Listen, Coyote is missing, and Mrs. Kubota asked me to find her. I need to know whatever you know. Whatever Mrs. Kubota wants, I didn't realize Coyote was missing. Missing. She said she expected to encounter some kind of paranormal anim animal at close range. I recommended the Ares Predator, but she couldn't afford it, so she went with the Browning Max Power. Need some hardware? No thanks, I already spent all my money. Uh, this is the armor dude. So let's leave. Take a cab to Pike Place Market. Yes. going to end this session here if the game auto saves. I cannot save whenever I want so it's kind of complicated. Um, I hope you enjoyed this sequ this session. Game auto saved. Perfect. So I hope you enjoyed this session. I'll see you next time for more Shadowrun Returns. I'm having fun. It's a, it's a slow game so I, I hope it, the pace will pick up a little and uh, that you s can keep your interest. It's, it's uh, definitely a nice Change of style of game for me. I, I, I'm not used to playing sort of um, investigations, uh, RPG type-ish games. And I'm not familiar at all with the, um, with the universe of this. So it's, uh, it's good to see that it's... Uh, well, it's good to see that... Uh, to, good to try out another type of game. Ah! <laughs> My sentences don't make sense anymore. Whatever. I hope you enjoyed this. Check out my other stuff. Uh, leave likes and comments and stuff. Uh, please give me advice on how to play this game because I have no clue and uh, I'm guessing it's going to get very difficult quite soon. Anyway, so uh, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.